All right, the hard part about feeding anybody around here is that now I'm being bumped. Get off of me, you horde of little beggars. Oh, no. And it's neat the way Carl has made all the chickens leave. If you've noticed, even the roosters have shut their little pie holes and they're not doing all that squawking and crowing like they were earlier. And they're all the better for doing that. Thank you, Carl. If that's not the most god-awful noise in the world, it's one rooster's cute. Everyone, I think, can enjoy one rooster. But when you have three or then four roosters start up in unison, and they're coming from all four directions, you look to the north, turn around, and to the side, and it just begins to feel like you're in a horror movie. Okay, they might be getting it. They might be getting it. I think they're slowly getting it. Nope, they walked right past the food. They walked right past the food and one has laid down there to take a nap in the food. Okay, well, you know what? I believe every one of you moms have had to at some point try to figure out how to make that baby latch on to the, the nipple. Morning, folks. Lester here. Uh, just walking out back this morning. Just got up, had our coffee. But what's interesting is I see Carl and Debbie out and about, which means they're not laying on the eggs. Which that tells me if they're not on those eggs, if one of them are not on the eggs, then I'm guessing that it's, uh, that's it. I'm guessing that that's it because if they're, they're no longer doing their part in, you know, turning the eggs, keeping them warm and everything else, then that must be it. So I think that we're gonna be done with three. Let me turn the camera around and show you what I'm seeing here. Oh, good morning. Hey. So here's Carl and Debbie. They've walked over to the fence line. Uh, excuse me, little munchkin. Go, move away. So here's Carl and Debbie, and on the ground there, I see three little munchkins. Now, you know we came by yesterday and we put up the chicken wire, so the three munchkins cannot cross through to the other side. Now listen, that's gonna get annoying real fast. Stop it. Here it come, here comes the babies. Hey, come over here, you guys. So that means that there's no one else over on the eggs, and this would be... <sighs> hey, I'm gonna shoo you away, because you're gonna start getting all... You're just gonna mess up my video. I'm trying to make a video of Carl and Debbie, the beautiful family, and the three babies. Here they come. Hey, you. Stop it, Cornholio. Hi, babies. Hello, little ones. So they're out for a morning stroll. So there's a lot of things that are going to happen here in these first two months. Um, Carl and Debbie are going, mostly Carl, will take over the role of teaching the babies everything they need to know about how to survive. And already you can see the babies walking around pecking along the ground. So what I'm gonna do is come out with some feed. I'm gonna put some crumbles all along the ground over here. And if I'm, you know, this is where Carl and Debbie eat. This is where Carl and Debbie eat all along the fence line over here. And Carl have, has probably brought the babies over because this is where they normally find food. And so what I'm going to do is go ahead and feed Carl and Debbie. And along here with the babies, I'll throw some crumbles on the ground. Shut up! Seriously, every one of y'all. Just stop it already. I don't want to be mean in front of the babies because I'm going to scare the babies. Okay, I'm sorry. But I swear, every time I start talking, these roosters and turkeys start gobbling and crowing like 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 satan's demons it sounds like satan's demons are coming to get me all right i'm gonna stop the video and start putting some feed out guys sorry about that intro stop it please now what i want to show y'all is something i'm gonna have to start doing for a while carl and debbie are able to eat 
uh, big feed. But the baby, I have to take these uh, this rabbit pellets and try to crush it up into smaller bites. Uh, that ain't gonna work. I don't know how we're gonna make it the smaller bites. What we need, I was going to try to smash it with this, but that's not working at all. I have to find a way to smash this up into small bites. Uh, now that's something we've never done before. I don't see a hammer. Oh, here we go. Let's try this pumpkin. This, this might work. No, that ain't gonna work either. That's just, that's making the fly everywhere. All right, so I need some kind of a system to break this up into small bite-sized pieces because that's not working right there. I'm gonna go ahead and just mix it in with everything else for now. There's a lot of crumbles in here, a lot of mealworms, and so there are things that babies can eat, but I'm gonna have to find a way to slowly incorporate some of the alfalfa, the rabbit food, into their diet. And so, what I'm gonna do right now is just pour this over the fence. Come on, Carl! And let them kinda come scratching to it. I believe Carl and Debbie will walk them over here. I'm gonna spread it all around the ground over here, excuse me. Now what I want, Carl, here comes Carl and Debbie. Hey, you guys need to walk away. No one can eat with you guys being little pest. I'm gonna back away myself. Uh, you're absolutely blocking the video, voodoo. So I'm gonna stick the video camera through the fence here. And so I wanted you to watch Carl and Debbie come over. Now, I don't normally feed them on the ground, but you know I need the babies to eat. So I want Carl and Debbie to teach the babies how to eat. Here come the babies. So what I got over here is a mixture of mealworms, alfalfa cubes, or little pellets. I have some chicken scratch, and I have some chick crumbles. I tried to take some of the rabbit pellets and crush them up a little bit, but I was unable to crush them. I'm gonna have to find a, some kind of a, another way to do that, a coffee grinder or something. But there's food on the ground Carl and Debbie have both kind of walked away. And I think they walked away because the horses are here. You're scaring them. There's no way they're gonna bring their babies over here with a big old one-eyed horse. Oh, Cyclops staring at them. Come on, Cyclops. You're freaking everybody out. Let's go. I'm sorry. I'm, I love you, but come on. All right, I'm gonna take all of these guys to the back. And then maybe at that point, Debbie will let the babies have a try to come up and scratch and oh they're walking away. Come on over here, Cyclops. Alright, you can walk over there now, baby. Let me get all of these horses. Man, they're so close. They're so close. So close yet so far. Okay, so maybe Debbie will come back and the babies will so see Carl's eating out of the actual food trough. He's like, I'm not eating off the dirt. But the babies are too small to have a food trough. I could put it in a bowl. But uh, they, they're gonna have to learn to adapt and eat the way other bird species eat. And I think the problem right now is the fact that I poured the feed over the fence and the horses are right here and the horses freaked everybody out. Listen, I'm gonna, now Maggie, Maggie, you're freaking everyone out too. Let me go ahead and open this gate up, get some snacks for the horses and walk them out down the pasture. I'm gonna walk the horses all out down the pasture and maybe we'll have better luck. Get, oh no. Now the chickens are gonna come eat everything. Carl, the chickens are getting all the food. That rooster is dancing in the food bowl. He's literally dancing on top of all the food. Like this is, Eureka! Eureka! Oh. All right, this day is not really going my way. I'm gonna have to make some adjustments and make them fast because all of the delicious ostrich food is going right there down their bellies. And that was not the intention. All right, 
Step one, let me get these horses out of here. That would be step one. All right, all of these guys have all been sorted out. Let's go ahead and go up and try to feed them ostrich babies. Oh, no. This is not what we wanted to see here. All right, there are big chickens, there are baby chickens, there are turkeys, there's chickens and roosters everywhere. There's ducks, there's baby ducks. Get out of this area. I'm so sorry, you guys. The horses are gone. Bring your babies over and eat. All right, Carl is a little bit leery about this. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk in and feed them where I normally would, and I'm gonna put feed along the ground so the babies can eat right there at their feet. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and feed them normal. Uh, so all this has gone to waste. Look at it, it's already been scratched through. Sheesh. Oh. All right, the hard part about feeding anybody around here is that now I'm being bumped. Get off of me, you horde of little beggars. Oh no. Okay, so this is not goat formula. I'm gonna hit on the ground. Just to keep everyone else at bay for a moment. There. Eat the worms. Now this over here is for you guys. Come on, you guys. Come on, you guys. Come on. Over here. So what I'm going to do is pour some of this into these containers. I don't, I don't know if y'all can see anything what's going on here. Hold on, bear with me, folks. There's a lot going on that I know you can't see. God, I can't video with. Move, goats. Okay, here's what's just happened. So I put, okay, there. There's food right at your feet. Right at your feet, you're walking over the food. You're walking on top of the food. Uh, you walked right on top of the food, little that's number one, I believe. That's number one. Like, what are you doing? Why are you walking up? Guys, there's food at your feet. There is food right below you. There's crumbles. There's worms. Look down. Don't sit down. Look down. Okay. 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 Oh, my goodness. Look at you. You fell? No. That's, that's dirt. Okay, so not to worry, everybody. They're, if you can't see that, they are sitting in their food. They're sitting in their food. Uh, ouch! Why are you being little jerks? Okay. So what's happening is I went ahead and fed the ostriches. They have food in their in their food bowls. But uh, these three little munchkins right over here, they don't quite understand what to do because Carl hasn't shown them yet. Carl's not shown them what to do. Debbie needs to show them what to do. There's food right there. You can see it. There's food here, here. But the problem right now is all of this riffraff. This is the problem. Carl doesn't want... That's the new chicken wire. You're tearing up my... That's my brand new chicken wire. Why would you be doing that? Why would you have done that to that new chicken wire? We just stuck that up yesterday. Um, so Debbie and... Wanda, I'm sorry, Tina and Wanda, listen to me. Do you not hear the frustration in my voice? You might want to walk away, Aaron. And all of you, oh, Longhorn Lusters is just right around the corner. Hey, you're not a jerk. I'll take that back. Baby, you're not, yo, be better. Here, love, you want some goat food there? I have never seen a goat eat worms in my life, but if you want them so bad. Okay, so trying to do the right. Ah, that's my man part, sissy. There's nothing in the bucket, love. So what I've done wrong today was I should have fed the goats first also. That's what I've done wrong. I should have taken care of everybody else first and come by and done the ostrich babies and ostrich moms and dads, females and adults last. Because right now I am being, 
Here, love. Thank you. Look, come look at the goodness over here, baby. There's a lot of... Who in the world? Why are you doing this to me? Roxy? All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna, I just now figured it out. Here's what I'm going to do, and this will be my plan from day... Here we go. Oh, Carl's showing them. Carl is showing them how to eat. That's what we wanted right there, Carl. Show them what to do. Carl is actually eating off the ground. And I believe he's showing the babies how to eat off the ground. Now, if we can get mom to do the same thing, we're in business. All right, what I'm going to do is take this one food trough right over here. I'm going to put all the rest of the food in there. I'm going to go ahead and flip it over the fence so it can be over on their side. Oh, that's heavy. That was a one-handed job right there, Lester. Good job. All right, so now I believe that... Ouch! Stop it! I believe that food will fall out of her mouth onto the ground, and the babies will eat that food. Maybe. That's what we're hoping for. She can drop enough food on... <gasps> Look! Okay, they might be getting it. They might be getting it. I think they're slowly getting it. Nope, they walked right past the food. They walked right past the food and one has laid down there to take a nap in the food. Okay, well, you know what? I believe every one of you moms have had to at some point try to figure out how to make that baby latch on to the, the nipple. And so this might be sort of the same process in a different way. Every one of us had to learn to latch on to the nipple at some point. And some people, it was easier than others. Some moms made it happen faster than others. And, uh, but it's a process that we've all had to go through. So I don't see there's any difference here. And so ultimately this is going to be the plan. Except I will begin feeding the goats in the other pasture first to keep them away from the fence line. Friends, I'm going to tell you all right now, this chicken wire is not going to last a week. This chicken wire is not going to last a week. You know how I know that? You all saw with your own eyes what this one right here was doing. Look what someone has done over here. We not only stapled to the post, but we zip tied it. We had zip ties to the wire there below. And someone has ripped the zip tie all the way up. And now it needs a new zip tie. I'm trying here, okay? All I can do is try. Why are you biting my shoes? Okay, well, there you go, friends. That was uh, feeding baby ostriches. What not to do. Lesson 101. But bottom line is they, um, they can go six days without eating because they consume so much of that. Why would you be doing this? Is there a reason to force yourself? But ouch, that hurt. Why are you biting me? I'm gonna bite you back. You don't think I'll bite you back? You watch me. I will bite you back. I am not in the mood today. I'm gonna. I'm gonna bite you. I'm gonna bite you back. You don't think I will? How's that feel? You want some bites? <laughs> I'm not gonna bite her. But you guys are being very annoying. I love you, sissy, but sheesh. All right, I've come back to where it all started. This is where it all started. This is where I put the first bit of food over the fence. Carl has scared all the chickens away. All the chickens are scared to death. Carl has come up, and this is where he's going to show the babies where they can find some food. So Carl's nibbling through some of the worms, some of the crumbles, some of the little alfalfa pieces and he's going to bring the babies over and show them that there's food to be found right through here and it's neat the way carl has made all the chickens leave if you've noticed even the roosters have shut their 
little pie holes and they're not doing all that squawking and crowing like they were earlier. And they're all the better for doing that. Thank you, Carl. If that's not the most god-awful noise in the world, it's one rooster's cute. Everyone, I think, can enjoy one rooster. But when you have three or then four roosters start up in unison, and they're coming from all four directions, you look to the north, turned around, and to the side, and it just begins to feel like you're in a horror movie. No. No. We're missing a baby ostrich. Oh, there it goes. What's it laying like that for? What's it doing? What is it doing? Okay, okay, it's okay. It's alive, okay. Just napping. Ouch! Why are you doing that? What have I done to you? What have I done to you? Huh? What have I done to you? I'll tell you what I need to do is get me one of those... A perch. I need to be a perch. I need to be a big old tall perch ladder where I can watch the babies in peace. Stop. That's an evil face you're making. Stop it. No. Stop it. Both of you. <laughs> stop it. I'm serious. You've got me into a corner here and I don't know. Stop it. Oh boy. I am begging you. Cornholio, get him away. Ah. Uh, okay. Just making my way out of here. Okay. All is good. Okay. All is good. Okay. There's the third baby. Uh, why is it laying there like that? Is it just napping? Why is that baby just lying there like that? Okay, it's just napping, I guess. Please. I can't make a video with all of this nonsense, okay? I, people, at some point, people want to see a normal video, not a weird video. And I can't make a normal video like this. And here comes the pigs. All right, we're gonna go ahead and cut this video for now. I think you get the gist of it. Uh, feeding lessons, round one. Stop it. Please, stop it. You're bothering me. I can't make a video like this. People want to see the babies. They don't, they don't want to see you right now. They don't want to see, they want to see babies, okay? I'm going to get my bucket and get out of here. Folks, thanks for watching. And there'll be more to come. And I'm hoping in a couple of days you'll see those babies just going at it. They'll learn the system. And they'll learn how we do things around here for breakfast and dinner. But I will say this, that one line there just kind of freaks me out. I don't like the way it just lays there. I just don't like the way it's just laying there. I hope it's okay. But I don't like the way he's just laying there. Because those two are laying the way birds should. But that one right there is laying kind of weird. I hate to leave you all on a, on a cliffhanger, but I'm going to keep an eye on him or her and see what's going on. I hope he's just laying down to nap. Hi, pretty. And this is why they're going to Longhorn Lester's. That right there is another reason why these two right here are going to Longhorn Lester's because they are into everything. Oh, Lester, that's just goats being goats. Well, they're going to be goats at Longhorn Lester's. Because look what they've done here. Look what they've done here. Yeah, they're going to be goats somewhere else, Jake. Longhorn Lester's is calling. I got some sad news, I'm afraid. Guys, I am afraid. This one over here is not going to make it. Dang it. Jake, darn it. I was afraid of that. <laughs> He's putting his little wings out so he can balance. Carl, like, use your wings, little one. <laughs> Get big. But, Daddy, I'm tired. We're all tired, son. <laughs>
you see those shadows over there, you must never go there. That one right there likes to hold his wings out like Carl. He wants to show off his wings. Little girl or little boy, not you. They all put their wings out. But that one right there, more than any of the other ones, likes to have his, <laughs> look at his little wings out. Boy, put your wings up. Hey, Jake, what if it ends up being a boy and we only know that because his wings are always out like Carl's are? Like in a defensive mechanism kind of a thing. Oh no, look at the other one. Yeah, this one too. Oh no, it's a boy too then. Oh no, I hope that doesn't mean that. I hope, they're not all boys. I hope that doesn't mean that they're all boys because they like to walk around with their wings out. Oh, are you seeing this? Where's that lady at? I don't know, they disappeared. Here's no, Megan. Don't do it. Don't do it. What's happening? Megan, love her. Yeah, it's your Coca-Cola can. No, <laughs> Ellie, come out of the barn. Overcome your fear of the female ostrich, Ellie. Still They're dancing for you. Dance back, Ellie. Dance back. Yep, do it. If you're it's your ring, Megan. It's your beautiful ring. I know. She doesn't need to get the Aggie ring. That took so long to get out. Okay. No, man. Want me to push them off? <laughs> All right, y'all. Leave make it alone. She came to see babies. She came to see babies. They came to see the babies. Y'all walk away. Go, get, 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 get out of here, skinny butt. Get out of here, skinny butt. Go. Turn around and walk away. Walk away. <laughs> Look at their little wings, Ellie. Their wings are out. I'm like my daddy. No, I'm like my daddy. He's my daddy. My daddy's stronger than your daddy. Because my wings are bigger than yours. Look at my wings. They're all walking with their wings out. Lord, sheesh. I hope they're not all boys. Three Carl Juniors. Oh no. I think it's really neat the way Carl and Debbie bring the babies to us. They don't have to. They could walk those babies anywhere in this pasture. But instead they walk them over here to us and I think it's the way to show off. Who is that biting my behind? Why are you doing this? Stop it. I'm trying to make a video of the babies, not you.